Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I'm back with another video. But this video is gonna be the first vlogging style content on the channel. So what I'm gonna be doing is showing you all some issues that I've been having with my PC and it's a very weird issue. It's almost like Linus Tech Tips ghost PC series where there's like a one individual thing that's really weird with the PC that no one seems to have the issue with well as, lar as far as me researching it goes. And I'm really trying to figure out exactly what's going on. So if you're new to the channel and you want to help me out this troubleshooting process my specs will be in the description down below nonetheless what I'm gonna be doing is showing you all the issue that I'm having but let's let's recap before I show you the issue okay so what has been happening exactly is that whenever I launch a game like counter-strike global offensives we'll, we'll basically just counter-strike global offensive I don't know why it's just counter-strike but whenever I actually launch it and I play it on my new 144 Hertz monitor that I have right here I have so many issues so what happens is I'm launching up the game and I'll get random black screen flickers and I assumed maybe it's something with the monitor maybe it's something with my Ravis card maybe it's something with counter-strike so the steps I went through is one uninstall counter-strike two looked up different settings on putting it on like borderless window mode and still had the issue um, I even uninstall uh, uninstalled counter-strike um, I've tried other games where I have zero issues with it at all which really makes it even weirder because it's just counter-strike and I even tried it on another PC and it didn't have the issue so I'm assuming it's my PC because I tested this on my brother's computer and it worked fine so what we're gonna do is try to see if a my Windows install is just totally borked and it's not allowing me to do this C my graphics card might be dying which could be awful um, I really don't want to deal with that my R9 390 is kind of the graphics card I have and I really don't know how much money to spend on another one or there's some other weird thing going on and we're just got to figure out what it is so what I'm gonna do is load up into Counter-Strike real quick and show you all the issue that I'm having and then we'll go about troubleshooting I have a few things I want to do to try the troubleshoot and show you all the steps I'm probably gonna change the cable out and see if it's the display port cable for some reason I'm gonna try HDMI it could be the display port on my graphics card is going out I don't know for sure it could be that connector um, we'll try the HDMI maybe it's just my graphics card doesn't work with 144 to be 144 Hertz I I don't know but it just doesn't make any sense that it's only counter-strike that does this so let me load into the game real quick and show you all what I'm talking about all right so I'm loading into counter-strike global offensive right now and I'm gonna show you all the issues I'm having I'm trying to do this with a hand right here I don't have a place to prop of the camera we're gonna hold it like this quality vlog style content so if we go to my options real quick and click on video I'm right now set to uh, 1080p because I was seeing if the issue still happened when I was on 1080p which it does so we're gonna switch back to 1440p real quick that's where we are right now so let's go to home let's find a game let's just go to like a death match real quick it really doesn't matter what game mode i go in i still have the issue which once again it really makes me wonder what exactly is causing this issue is it the game itself on my windows install is it a little bug like that is it my graphics card i i just don't know so we're gonna load into some game real quick sometimes it happens instantly to where i just run around for a second and it starts doing it so i'm just gonna run around because i'm only have one hand probably just gonna get shot a little bit and that sort of stuff but i'll show you all the issue i've been having and the repetitiveness of it and why it keeps doing it i honestly have no idea okay so let's load into a game and here we are we are in the game so let's run around real quick do 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 I'm getting chased. I don't know why. You know what? Here, let's prop myself up somewhere because this might take a little bit longer than I... Oh, well, never mind. See, there we go. Here we go again. So, this is the issue I'm having. I'm running around the game. You saw that one little black screen flicker. If I keep running around, boom, black screen flicker. And we're back again. Black screen flicker. And we're back again. And we're running, and we're running, and we're running. And it's a black screen flicker. So it just keeps doing the black screen flicker no matter what I actually put it into. And that makes zero sense to me. It does it only in game. It doesn't happen on the menu screen at all. It's only in game. So I'm wondering if it's a GPU issue. Um, that's what has me lean towards it being a GPU issue. But what I'm gonna do is try out a couple things. I'm gonna switch the cable that's on the back of this thing right here. I don't know if you can see the lighting very well. There's my little webcam. We're gonna switch out the DVI on here and try. I'm not, I think there's an HDMI port on this. Yeah, there's an HDMI port on it. Um, I don't know for sure. I can't remember off the top of my head if, if uh, 1440p 144 Hertz is supported by HDMI, but I'm gonna try it out and see if that fixes the issue So we're gonna switch to that real quick and just see if that does anything I don't know. We're at the point of troubleshooting guys We're just gonna see exactly what we can do. This is probably gonna be a little bit of a 
day process and this vlog is going to stretch out over a couple days because I have a lot of stuff going on but I am determined to get this fixed and figured out and last ditch effort we're going to be doing is taking an old hard drive installing windows on it unplug my hard drives from here and just install counter strike and see if the issue is repetitive and if that's the case then we're going to take out the graphics card and throw in a temporary graphics card that I have lying around and see if the issue happens on there and that will basically determine if it's a graphics card error or not so let's just try it out Find you. So for some reason, the HDMI wouldn't even be recognized on there. So for some reason, this monitor has some issues with HDMI support, which is really starting to make me wonder if it's just the monitor itself that's causing all these issues. But nonetheless, to remove the variables, because I did test this on another PC and it did work, um, we're just going to try taking my drives out, put a temporary hard drive in, install Windows on it, and see if it works that way. And if that's the case, then kind of a sigh of relief because all I have to do is reinstall Windows and everything, we should be good to go. Um, I need to back up some stuff, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal because I can finally get it up and running, working perfectly. It'll be worth the struggle. But nonetheless, what we're gonna do is take out my drives, throw in a temporary hard drive from a build that I have right here. Um, get ready to open up the box. Let me cover up all this. Gotta open this box up and steal the 250 gig hard drive that's in there and then we're gonna throw that in the machine and see what kind of troubleshooting we can get done and see if that fixes the issue. So let's go right ahead. Hey, you know what? I changed my mind on that. We're not gonna use that hard drive. We're actually going to steal one of these little laptop drives that I have in here because you know what? I don't wanna give away anything yet as far as our build goes, so let's see. We have a couple laptop drives, don't we? Let's see, we got a couple laptop drives here. We might be able to use these. One of these works, one of these don't. So let's just try you, see if you work, and then we'll just see if that fixes the issue at all. So let's go ahead and put her inside the PC. All right, so what I have going on right here is just a laptop drive plugged in temporarily. I unplugged my SSD and my hard drive from the actual PC. And what we're gonna be doing is actually just booting up into this, installing Windows on top of it with one of these drives. I don't know which one has Windows on it, but we're gonna plug it in, just mess around and see which one has Windows and go from there. Well, Windows cannot install on any of these drives because of the boot order on the actual drive, which I might have screwed those up from something else. So for some reason, none of those drives are supported. So we're probably gonna have to dive into this box and get this hard drive out of here and just see what it does. I'm just not gonna show you anything else. I'm just gonna take it apart and throw the hard drive in here and maybe we'll be all right with that. Cause I really have no other drive options. And if this doesn't work, I'm almost tempted to just throw it on a USB drive and run Windows off USB 3, which is a bad, bad idea. But we're gonna try this hard drive and go from there. All right guys, so it's actually like 9.50 at night, so about four hours later from when I actually was recording this before, but we got a fresh install of Windows going and I actually went ahead and did some testing and well, sadly, that didn't fix the issue. As you can tell, I have like a disaster going on on my desk right now. I've been trying to work on this. My entire room is a freaking disaster, tearing apart machines. Oh, you just got a glimpse at a PC back there. Uh, but what I actually did was you can see, I threw a freaking hard drive from a build that I'm gonna be using shortly into the machine and install Windows, ran it, and I saw some issues. But I did come across somebody on a forum that recommended that I try changing the menu settings on this monitor to check to see if the adaptive sync mode is on. So if we turn this on, and up here's the, oh, that's not the button we wanted, we want this button. So if we hit the monitor button and as you can tell, we have adaptive sync on, which is basically free sync from AMD. And it's showing that you wanna make sure you have that on. And if for some reason you still have issues, what you need to do is download a monitor refresh rate tweaker that changes the adaptive sync settings. So what I'm gonna do is remove this hard drive, boot back into my old OS, and then do that and see if that fixes the issues. Cause I mean, it's obviously not Windows because I installed Windows and did the same thing. So I'm starting to think it is the monitor and it was just kind of an anomaly that I tested this on my brother's system and it didn't actually have any issues. So I'm thinking it is the monitor itself. My system itself is not having any issues because I did find somebody who had the exact same issues using an AMD graphics card. So it's down to two things here, either AMD's drivers suck, which wouldn't surprise me, or something's up with this panel not working and that means I gotta contact Pixio again and let them know about the crap. So. 
All right, so it looks like what they wanted me to download was the custom resolution utility to make a custom resolution on your monitor. And then he recommended that I change the adaptive free sync range to 55 to 144 or 54 to 144. Try either one of those. So I have the range limits right here. So we're just gonna switch that over to 55 to 144. We're gonna try that and see if that fixes anything. Can I apply? Okay. All right, so um, that should do that. So I guess, I don't know if I need to restart or anything, but I guess I'm just gonna load into the game and just see if anything does any different, honestly. I don't really know what else to do. We got, now it's saying the app is already running. Well, I'm having all sorts of issues today. Let's see. Is Counter-Strike open? I don't see Counter-Strike. Oh, there it is, CSGO, let's end it. Let's see if that was just a little bug. Let's try booting again. One thing is for sure, I really need to customize the settings again on the display if this works, because if I calibrate it back, I need to go back to the cool settings, because with the orange, like the default out of box, it's really orange and warm. I don't really like the way that looks. I really want a more vibrant and cool color, so I might need to go back and change that after this. But let's see if we have any results of actually fixing it, because if this is awesome, you know, this works, it's great. But nonetheless, um, if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna have to wait till later, because I have to work on a final exam that I need to get uploaded. Yeah, it's an out of class final, so I gotta get that finished tonight. Um, I kinda push my luck with it, so let's just see what happens. Okay. Nope. That didn't do shit. Wow, did I really just hit a full black screen now? Wow. Okay. Well. I just hit a totally full black screen. Wow. So I got like no display output now. I just went into the game and just did this totally full black screen. Let's try going back in. Wow, what okay. Um maybe let's just let's just try something here. Let's try turning off the adaptive sync mode and just see if that's just broken or something. I don't know. God, everything's just spazzing out right now. Um, I can't even get my monitor settings now. I think I just screwed up the mon- oh, nope, there it is. Let me get my monitor, okay. It's definitely the monitor because as you can tell, when it's flat, this like confirms it's the monitor because when it's acting up, I can't even get in the menu. This is definitely a monitor issue. Great. All right, let's try going into the menu real quick. Menu, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Grab, okay, now everything is sideways, so great. Okay, now we gotta look this way. Identify, oh, I, don't, I know this is the monitor, what am I talking about? Let's move in the center. The game even loads back up. Okay, we're in game. Let's run around a little bit. Nope, that didn't fix anything. Nope, it's still doing the same crap. All right, let's jump around a little bit. Nope, it's still flickering. Um, I don't know, man. I'm honestly at a loss right now. I honestly don't know what's causing this issue. Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and send this video over to Pixio because look at it. Like, I have no idea what's making this happen exactly. Just running around and black screen. The monitor is definitely the culprit here. Like, there's no way it's not the monitor because whenever I try to do something with it, it just like starts freaking out. I've tried the different display port cables too and that's not the issue. I just, I have no idea what this issue is, guys. So, uh, I hope you all enjoyed watching me struggle with this. Um, I honestly am totally lost. I have no idea what's going on. So if you all could help out any bit at all, leave a comment down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'd probably be up editing this video pretty late, but like I can use the monitor normally on my desktop. No issues at all. But when I play games, it just craps out. I don't, I don't get it. So them the brakes, I guess. Um, I highly don't recommend you get this Pixel display as of right now because it's it's not doing the job anymore. So I hope to see you on the next video, guys. Maybe this will get worked out for me in the future. I don't know. 
I have no idea, honestly. I might fool with it a little bit more tonight and I may do an update video in the future. But thank you guys again for watching this. If you like this video, leave a like down below and comment what you think. And comment your support and subscribe and follow us on Twitter or at me on Twitter with some ideas if you have any ideas. So I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.